Hello, my name is Claudia Mediavilla and on this presentation I will be speaking about the factors related with the host parasite dynamics in our system of study. Parasitic infections can have additive effects to those of other stressful stimuli like climate change or anthropic pressure. Our aim in this study is to shed some light in the host parasite dynamics and the factors that are related to it in the context of the Iberian Peninsula, which treasures one of the greatest diversity of reptiles in Europe. To start, let me introduce you to our study. It was located in El Pardo, in central Spain, a typical shrub rutland mediterranean area that looks like this picture here. Lizards were sampled in two areas that differ in the influence of our road from April till September in two consecutive years. Two species of lizards have been studied, Samodromus alteros, this picture on the right, which is a medium-sized, short-lived lizard with a widespread distribution in shrub and goodland Mediterranean habitats from the Iberian Peninsula, and Acantodactylus eritrurus, which is a medium-sized lizard with a shorter lifespan and distributed in the center and south of the Iberian Peninsula, as well as in Morocco and Algeria. This last species is the one that we can see here on the left. After analyzing blood samples from 412 individuals of these two species, we found three genera of blood protozoa, Sclachia, Coriolisus, and Lancastrella. For this study, we captured lizards from both of these species and noted some variables in the field. On the other hand, we looked at blood samples and identified the parasites with a microscope. Finally, we took all of this information and gathered it in statistical analysis using our studio. We used generalized additive models to analyze a number of variables that could potentially explain the abundance of these parasites in our sample. Out of these, the ones that turned out to have significant effect in at least one of the analyses were lizard species, sex, body length and host density, and also the smoothing factor related with the month as an indicator of phenological effects. As for the results, we obtained 30% prevalence for Sclachia, 42% for Coriolisus, and 6% for Lancastrella in our sample. Interestingly, parasites were host-specific. Lancastrella was found in Acantidactylus eritrurus, whereas the parasite genera Slachia and Coriolisus were found in Samodromus algerus. In addition, different factors explain the number of parasites per host individual of the three parasite genera in the sample. The intensity of infection of Sclachia was explained by the sex of the host, where females had significantly higher intensity of infection than male hosts. Lizards with longer body size had also higher infections, and the effect of the month was also significant. For the parasite Coriolisus, the intensity was explained by sex, body length, and month. However, males had more parasites than females. The significant predictors for Lancastrella were host, body length, and host density. Bearing in mind the results that we obtained, we could highlight four factors that are related with the prevalence of these parasites. Specificity. There is a pattern of specificity between blood protozoa and their hosts. Thus, it is important to distinguish between parasites in any further study investigating host parasite dynamics in this system. Body length has a positive effect on the abundance of these parasites. This could be, could be explained because larger individuals are also older and therefore have more chances of having encountered vectors during their life, as well as develop chronic infections. We observed different trends of the effect in the pattern associated with sex between the different genera of parasites. For instance, the intensity of Sclachia parasitism was higher in females, which contradicts the dogma of greater susceptibility in males to infections. In both Sclachia and Coriolisus, we observed different parasite levels throughout the sampling period, thus indicating the presence of phenological patterns probably associated with the life cycle of the parasites or the differential host immune response against the different parasite genera. These data demonstrate the importance of acknowledging basic ecological processes to understand parasite-host dynamics.